Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel for Life After 40. My name is Olivia and thank you guys for clicking on this video today. And I'm really excited because today I am going to be showing you how I use bentonite clay to cleanse my hair. And also I'm going to be giving you five tips, five tips on when you are using bentonite clay that could just save you a bit of bother if that makes sense. So yeah, let's get straight into this video. So I will leave a link down below into how I actually prepared my bentonite clay mixture, but essentially it's just a mixture of bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar. But the consistency is my first tip that I want to share with you guys. When you're making it, it's easier if you make it as thick as possible, but not too thick that you can't actually spread it when you're applying it on your hair, but just thick enough so that if you were to scoop it up with your hands like I am doing, that it wouldn't just drop off of your fingers. So about that consistency is probably the best when you're using bentonite clay to cleanse your hair. Tip number two, guys, is the actual hair itself. So please make sure or try to at least make sure that you detangle your hair before you begin applying bentonite clay and i'll explain why in a second but yeah make sure that you detangle your hair and also it's better it applies better if you actually um if your hair is actually oily prior so i wouldn't suggest using it on a clean head of hair or relatively clean head of hair because it's going to be very difficult for you to spread it you'll find that with this after you'll see when i'm applying it to mine that it actually stiffens after a while and so it's best if your hair is detangled otherwise you're gonna you're basically stiffening tangles into your hair if that makes any sense to anybody out there so that's what you want to avoid doing so make sure that you detangle your hair so basically because my hair was super greasy anyway it had lots of product in it all i had to do this time around i didn't have to go to the lengths of making any marshmallow root um, if you guys don't know about that video i will also link that down below for you guys marshmallow just as a tip is one of the best natural detanglers for you especially if you are tender headed okay so i didn't have to do that this time because my hair was super greasy so essentially i just spritzed it with some water not so that it's drenched or anything but just so that it's slightly damp and then i was able to just run my comb through the knots and tangles easily only because my hair was greasy and so the grease helped with the detangling process so yeah my hair's detangled as you guys can see and i've already sectioned it as well just to make the application process easier so I am going to now demonstrate how I apply my bentonite clay to my hair. So I'm just going to clip those two out the way and undo the back section. Oh, before I forget, clothing. Make sure that you protect your clothing, guys. So I have got somewhere here an older cardigan that I don't mind if it gets um, a bit dirty because I can just throw this in the wash. So I'm just going to put this on. Um yeah we can get going so back section i'm just going to unravel and this brings me to tip number three when you are applying bentonite clay to your hair make sure that you get some or you know when you're applying it make sure you apply it to your scalp as well and i say that because it's actually detoxifying if you think about it, people use this on their face and their skin primarily, and it has the ability to draw out toxins from your skin, you know, from the environment and from things that you might be using, um, some of the products contain, um, if you're not using 100% natural products especially, some of those products will contain chemicals and agents that, you know, ultimately over time, they're not the best thing for your skin. Um, especially if it's in creams where you apply and it stays on the skin it's not so bad if it's in shampoos because you you know shampoos are only on your hair momentarily you actually end up rinsing them out but um with creams and things like that and some um hair grease and you know they may i'm not going to mention any um, brand names but some do contain you know agents which aren't the best for us so yeah, when you're applying bentonite clay, my third tip would be make sure that you apply it to your scalp as well. And also the sensation of it on your scalp is really cooling. So it's soothing. You know, it just gives you this really soothing feel because it's so cooling. And um, I love that sensation. And just to know that it's also doing some good for my skin or my scalp skin as well is also an added bonus guys so yeah that would be my third tip when you're applying bentonite clay so as you can see this is going on 
quite easily and I'm not getting anything like you know dropping all over the place it's not because of the consistency of the mixture it's just literally sitting within my hair so that just makes the whole thing much easier guys and you see what I'm saying about the stiffness it makes your hair stiff um, so yeah if your hair wasn't detangled at this point mm, it wouldn't be good for you especially when you're trying to actually rinse the clay from your hair so guys I'm just going to carry on applying this So this is what your hair should look like when you've finished applying it. I mean every single inch of your hair should be covered with the bentonite clay to get the best results. So as you can see guys, I have covered every single inch of my hair and my scalp because don't forget we are detoxifying the scalp as well in this process. So my fourth tip is the duration. I would suggest that you leave this in your hair for as long as physically possible okay so for me I'm going to have this in my hair for an hour to make sure that the bentonite clay and the apple cider vinegar get to do their maximum work on my hair and leave it soft and just cleanse and just all together all round healthier so I'm just going to apply one of these disposable shower caps on to trap in the heat and also stop the clay from drying out because if you leave your hair exposed guaranteed within 10 minutes your hair is going to be as hard as a rock and we don't want that do we so make sure you cover your hair with either a plastic bag or you know something that can just trap in the heat that you can then throw away afterwards yeah and so I'm going to leave this on my hair as I said before for an hour and I will come back for the final stage which is obviously the rinse off stage and I'll give you my fifth tip then. Okay lovely so it's about an hour later now and I'm going to remove my shower cap and this is what my hair is looking like and this brings me on to tip number five because we're now about to rinse out the clay from my hair. Tip number five is save your drains okay because clay is it's sediments of earth and all that does is it gets stuck in your drain pipe so what you need to do is obviously loosen up your hair and then what you're going to do is rather than use your shower head to wash your hair initially you're just going to dip your head over a bucket of warm water to loosen off the excess clay before you then rinse it uh, using your shower head and that will save your drains guys and what you do with the bucket of clay water is you just take it to your nearest piece of grass or earth outside and just throw it do not throw it down the main drains just throw it across your grass and obviously that will help feed your grass and um, yeah what belongs to the earth needs to be returned to the earth so yeah that's my tip number five so I'm just going to show you guys how I actually do this obviously loosening up all of my hair and I'm just going to tip it over into my bucket.
Okay, lovely. So I'm all rinsed out now. And if I come a bit closer, you guys can examine my scalp and you will realize there is absolutely no buildup left. It's completely worked and clarified my entire scalp. And the great thing about using apple cider vinegar and bentonite clay in combination is that not only does it clarify your hair and your scalp, but it also leaves your hair feeling soft and not stripped. So my hair does not feel dry or stripped or anything like that. It feels completely moisturized and just very soft to the touch, which is amazing and which is what we want. So I feel that after I have used um, a bentonite clay and apple cider vinegar uh, to clarify my hair, that I don't need to do the deep condition. I can skip the deep conditioning process completely after this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add my leave-in and other products and style my hair. And yeah, that will be the end of my wash routine. So it's been really easy, super, 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 super stress-free. And yeah, in an all natural way as well. So what's to lose, what's not to like, guys. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and also leave your comments down below if you guys use bentonite clay or whether you would like to try bentonite clay along with any questions that you may have for the process. And guys, I just want to say a huge thank you for viewing my content today and also supporting my channel. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye for now.